Do your armory crate buttons randomly stop working like mine does? What about your keyboard? Does it have input delay like you see in this video? If so, don't worry, I'll be showing you how you can fix it with one press of your joypad or keyboard, so keep on watching if you want to find out how to do it. Today I'll be making a quick video showing you how to create a batch script that will help with your armory crate buttons not responding and your keyboard input lag. For those who aren't aware, the main reason why your armory crate buttons aren't working or your keyboard has input lag is because of the armory crate service. If you have it disabled, your armory crate buttons won't work, and if you have it enabled, you'll experience keyboard input lag. If you're wondering why I don't go straight to services, it's because I want the option to not have to open up services, wait for it to load, find the service, and stop or start it. So instead, I'll be showing you how to create a batch script to toggle the service, then bind it with a single button on either your joypad or keyboard. First thing I need you to do is open up Notepad and type in the following command. What this command does is it starts Armory Crate if it's disabled, and if it's already running, it disables it. Save the file as a .bat and select all files from the dropdown. Next, create a shortcut of the script you just created. This will allow us to run it in admin mode without having to right-click it, and it'll also let us hotkey the file. Just don't forget to check Run as Admin under Properties in advance. If you're wondering why I can't just set the hotkey through here, it's because the shortcut key will only work while at the desktop. So to get around this, we'll have to use a third-party program like AutoHotKey. Once you have the program installed, create a script and open that script with Notepad. From here, we'll need to find out what hotkeys to use, so we'll need to refer to the documentation's list of keys functions in case there are abbreviations. Also, if you wanted to add modifiers like Control and Alt to your hotkeys, you can refer to the hotkeys section in the documentation. Before selecting your hotkey, make sure there's no conflict with the joypad's desktop mode. I don't see home binded anywhere, so I'll be using that as my hotkey. So to begin, let's first assign our key followed by two colons, run, comma, space, then copy the path to our shortcut and paste it into our auto hotkey script. Next, type in or copy and paste the following command, which I will provide below. If you're wondering where the dollar sign and joy seven came from, the dollar sign is required when you use the send command and Joy7 hotkey was determined from a controller script, which I will also provide below. As for the controller script, we can download that from the official auto hotkey site. First click on the link I'll provide below, scroll down and click controller test script. Next click show code and click the download icon. Run the script and test it in gamepad mode first to familiarize yourself with it. There are buttons one through 10 for gamepad mode and only Joy, seven and eight for desktop mode. Because seven is shared between both gamepad and desktop mode, I decided to go with 7 so that this script will work no matter what mode I'm in. Here's a diagram of the available keys to bind which I have labeled in red for gamepad mode only buttons and green for buttons that work on both gamepad and desktop mode. Once you've decided on your hotkeys and configured your auto hotkey script, save the file and close it out. Now run the file, click yes, and click OK. We'll now be testing our joypad button. Right now, our armory crate buttons aren't working, so to fix this, we have to turn it on by holding the select button, which we assigned as Joy7 earlier. Sometimes it may take a while to load, and sometimes it might even error. This isn't the script's fault, but this actually occurs in the service UI as well. If you do error, though, just try it again. As you can see, the armory crate buttons are working again. Now I'm going to demonstrate what causes the keyboard input lag in the first place. When I'm casting without clicking on the mouse, there is no delay. However, when I start casting and clicking at the same time, that's when the delay occurs. So to fix this issue, we'll need to stop the Armory Crate service, but make sure you lock in your wattage settings before you stop it. If you remembered, I set my keyboard hotkey to home, so now I just need to tap it once to toggle the Armory Crate service. Now that the service has been stopped, the input delay should be gone when simultaneously pressing on the keyboard and mouse. Now that we have confirmed our scripts are both working, we just need to take care of one more tiny step and we should be set. First, search up run or press windows plus R. Type in shell colon startup and click OK. Finally, drag in your auto hotkey script in this startup folder. With this script in this folder, you won't have to manually open it every time your device restarts and your assigned keys should continue to work. And there you have it, folks. 
I hope you guys got some value out of this video, and if you did, you know what to do, and I'll see you in the next video.